Okay, so this is our first test and use of the sun oven. Uh, I removed the blue plastic protective film that was on the reflector plates and uh, did my best to angle it properly toward the sun. Uh, the sun is still pretty low in the sky. It's about 10 a.m. in November. And uh, using the uh, little tilt angle tool, uh, you can see that the the uh, sun, you know, the bright spot in there should line up with that hole. That's as close as I could get it with the uh, sun being as low in the sky as it is. But as it as it raises, uh, it should center. And as I keep it moving, it should move. Anyway, I set this up about five minutes ago. We're already at 125 degrees inside the oven. And our first test of the oven is going to be to boil some eggs. So I'll try it. The uh, sun oven is controlled the tilt is controlled with a little you know sort of stake here that has a, a latch button you can adjust the height and then there are tent stakes to hold it uh, in place in the ground we understand that this uh, oven is good for a wind speed up to about 40 40 miles per, 40 mile per hour wind it's not very windy today it's just a light breeze it'd be fine but uh, yeah Seven is, the uh, sun oven is gradually heating up. It's getting near 150. Okay, now. so now we've got the sun oven ready. We have to bake it. We have to clean it first. So you just set it up. We preheated it for a little bit, like 20 minutes. It's up to two, almost, well, about 300 degrees now almost. So you put a pot of water, a little soapy water in there, and it stays in there for 90 minutes to 120 minutes. And you come in and you like swish it out and stuff, and then it'll be clean and ready to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, where it's uh, we opened it, so now it says 250. It was closer to three before we opened it up, but well, there's plenty of heat coming off this thing. I can feel it. Like as low as the sun is in the sky, it's still the angle. It needs to be angled even more that way, downward. But that's as high as it goes with this, and you know this is fall, so the sun will get a little higher in the sky as we go but that's about the best alignment we can get out of it right now. And we'll adjust it as we go. So um, the idea is you wanna keep that round light centered on the hole there, uh, but that's as good as we can get it right now at this point. So as we go, uh, we'll just keep aligning it and keep it as aligned with the sun as we can. I think when we get this thing out to contentment, I think I'm gonna build a turntable that we can set this on and basically <coughs> find a way to attach it to it for wind protection. And then on the turntable have some holes with pins in it where we could just hold it in place and then turn it, pin it, turn it, pin it, that kind of thing. So cool, I'm so ready. We can use it. One thing we also that we did is we put some spar varnish on this wood surface to protect it. Um, we have a friend who has one of these and she, uh, hers is all weathered uh, from, you know, sitting out in the sun for so long that uh, we thought maybe a little coating of spar varnish on that wood would help. Okay, <clears throat> so we finished cleaning the oven, <clears throat> put a pot of soapy water in there, let it steam for a couple of hours, let it steam for a couple of hours. And now, uh, and then we wiped it out. Now it's time to, uh, Clean the glass and then get our eggs in there. Okay, the sun oven is clean. Now I'm gonna put these in. You can do two dozen eggs at a time. All you do is take a cardboard egg carton, put them in, and put them in the bottom there, and you leave them for one hour. Then at the end of that time, you come and check it, roll it around on a smooth surface, and if it rolls and doesn't wobble, it's done. If it wobbles, put it in for 15 more minutes. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Oh. 300 degrees. We get you. Okay. Push hard on the glass. Sort of hard to get your hands in there with that reflector in the way, isn't it? Yeah. 
<clears throat> there's not much room here to get your hand in here and move this tab. The you reflector's sort of in the way. Put the reflector out of the way, I guess. There. All right. And we got it pretty, we've got it, I've got it lined up where it'll, the sun will center itself on this during the hour. So it's off just a little bit in anticipation of the sun covering it. So. All right, I was a dummy and forgot to turn the camera on when we pulled these eggs out He's of the sun oven. That lot I am losing my mind. We pulled it out of the sun oven. When we pulled it out, the oven was at 350 degrees. And the trick is, if you want to know these are done, you take them, spin them on a flat surface. And if they don't wobble around a lot, well then you know that uh, these are good and they appear to be doing just fine. They look like these are fine. So these should be hard boiled and done. And we will wait till they cool enough, we'll crack one open and look at it. I'm gonna crack open one of the eggs we cooked in the sun oven. Well, it's not done. It needed the extra 15 minutes, I think. There it is. A little bit soft, but I think it'll work. 